is the most amazingly beautiful day here in the Brecon Beacons. Uh, so you might be asking, why am I here? I'm here because I've written a new book called The Tree Forager, and I thought it might be quite handy to show you some of the trees that feature in the book. And the first one we're gonna look at is the ash. And actually, I can see the tree that I'm aiming for. I can see it right over here. It's the one past all the sheep, right at the far end of the field. Um, that's kind of leaning a little bit like this. Anyway, that's the one we're looking for. At least I hope it's the right tree. We're about to find out. So come on and follow me and let's see, uh, let's see if I'm right. the one with the hashtag gone? Yeah, here it is. This one's quite fun. It's got a hashtag on the side. <laughs> this particular tree has been connected with literature, writing, the, the, the written word, forever, really. that we are filming today is called The Tree Forager and in as much as it's not just about trees and it's not just about foraging, it's also about stories and music and there are recipes in the book, this is the only tree in the book which I advise that you do not eat because it is toxic. Although I've just told you about identifying trees, it's not always easy because trees don't all follow a pattern. Sometimes maybe branches have fallen off or been chopped off. Sometimes they might have been blown down by the wind um, and that changes their appearance. So you just have to really keep your eyes peeled. 